Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to explain you how to use a very useful uh, function from JavaScript called map uh, that we can apply to arrays uh, to execute some uh, procedure on those arrays. Basically the map function um, acts uh, on every element of an array, of an input array um, and applies a given function to each element of that array. We define uh, that function as we please and then it will return a new array uh, where uh, each element uh, will be the result of applying that function uh, to each element of the original array. It may seem a little bit complicated but we'll see it uh, right now in the code. So we start by declaring um, an array of some, some integers, some, uh, some numbers, uh, and right away we'll define a, a function that uh, is what we call the, the mapping function that uh, is a function that will actuate over each element of this original array. So this function has uh, um, it can have only one input, the others are optional, but uh, the, first, uh, the first input and the, the most important is the value or uh, note that we can call it other, other thing, but basically it's the value of the current um, index of the array that we are um, transforming and we can use as additional input um, this, okay, you can see this as uh, uh, something auxiliary we can also get the current iteration uh, of the array inside our function so basically inside our map array function we are going to receive uh, this value and this index and the first thing we are going to do is just, is just printing uh, the value of the current index. So this is very powerful because we can do whatever we want in this, in this function and this includes printing uh, something. Then, uh, my, my, my function will be very simple. I will just return the, the, um, the value of the current element of the array incremented by 1. So the new array, the, the expectation is that the new array will have uh, each element of the original array incremented by one. A uh, very important thing is that uh, this map function doesn't uh, change the original array. Uh, so it will not be mutated. Uh, so basically after we define the, the, the both the original function and the, the mapping function, uh, sorry, the original array and the mapping function, uh, now we simply call uh, this map uh, function on the original array and pass as input our defining map function and assign the result to a new array. Well, this is very simple. Uh, then we will simply uh, print the results uh, to the console to check both that the new array has the, the incremented values and the original array uh, has not been changed. So to test it, we just click the upload button so you can see here first the index being being printed uh, so we have five elements in our array we are um, we are uh, iterating from uh, uh, indexes 0 to 4 then we print the new array value note that this is precisely the, the original array with each element incremented by 1 uh, which was with what we did on our mapping function and then we have here the original array, uh, which has the, the original values and thus they, they have not been changed. And this is it, this is very very powerful, although it may seem uh, for people who are used to simply iterate through the arrays to process them, this is a very compact syntax, uh, it uh, leads to much uh, simpler code and uh, it's very, it's very uh, important to learn this, this concept. Uh, thank you very much for watching this tutorial.